I hope Mr. Mats Wilander wouldn't mind because I want to hear it every time. We are here, Game Shed and Max. Sorry, Barbara. Game Shed and Max. <laughs> with, uh, Why with, not? With Barbara Shed. Uh, nice to see you here. Hello, Max. Barbara, how do you like our city and our tournament? I love it. This is the first time I'm here in St. Petersburg. Um, I've, I've visited it for the first time yesterday. I did a little bit of sightseeing. I went to the Hermitage Museum and, uh, and I'm, uh, I love the tournament. I mean, it's, it's a fabulous center court. We have the music and especially when the, when the players enter the stadium, it's such a, a great atmosphere. And uh, I think it's a, it's a beautiful tournament and I regret that this is only my first year to be here. You played the Pro-Am tournament with a jazz man, Igor yes. Butman. Uh, how was he? Because yesterday he, has a, he had a concert. He did have a concert. I watched him in the concert as well. He's, uh, I mean, he's a star on, on the saxophone. It's amazing uh, what he does. On the tennis court, um, we had a lot of fun. We didn't win any matches, but uh, we are friends now, so it's good. Yeah, it was, uh, he's a nice guy, very relaxed, and obviously very talented in, in sports and in music. Sports, uh, St. Petersburg Ladies Trophy is going right after Australian Open. Yes. It's really tough in terms of calendar, but there are a lot of uh, good uh, players, best players in the world. What can you say about our players? I think, um, you know, the players, first of all, they know that this is a very nice tournament. That's why they, uh, they come from Australia straight uh, to play here, because they know that they're getting spoiled here. Um, the quality is very high and uh, obviously you had, uh, you had so many or you have so many top players. You know, with Petra Kvitova, it's amazing that she came after reaching the finals at the Australian Open. And I think it's important for the Russian uh, players to, to be here and play in front of their home crowd. And um, it's great to see that Vera Swanareva is doing so well after, um, you know, she, she had a baby, obviously, and, and, um, and she's making that next step again in her career. And I used to play against her, so yeah. it's fun. And then, um, uh, you know, all the other players, like with Kiki Bertens and, and, and uh, Donna Vekic, it's, it's amazing. And you have a strong field um, and people from different nations as well. You have young ones, older ones, so it's the perfect, um, perfect uh, combination, I guess, from, from players. And, and it's a high level of tennis which is played here, I have to say. Nowadays, you're a representative of Eurosport. How do you feel in this role? How do you like it? In my role at Eurosport, you mean? I love it. I retired 12 years ago and, and um, I love the sport of tennis so much. So I wanted to stay involved in it. And uh, now I'm, this is my 13th year for Eurosport. So um, I love my colleagues like you, you know, <laughs> we always have a good time at the Grand Slams, even though we are very busy, but um, it's really nice. It's very unique Eurosport because you have so many um, different countries who are involved, people from Russia, from France, from Germany, and we all work together and try to produce something very special and unique. So there's no other network like Eurosport. Um, and I love what I do. Mac, uh, Mats, not Max, Mats um, <laughs> is great to work with and he has a big passion for tennis and uh, I hope many more years to come. And the slogan of our tournament is the only. Uh, how can you describe it in terms of unique, unique women in tennis? The only, well, I have to say, first of all, it's where, where you play this tournament in St. Petersburg. It's, it's so unique as well. And, and women's tennis is, uh, is unique. You have so many different players right now. And, uh, you know, you have uh, the hard hitting girls. You have the ones with a little bit variation and from different countries. It couldn't be more exciting. And you don't know, like at the Grand Slam at the moment, you really don't know who is going to win it like last year. And I think that's what makes uh, women's tennis very unique. You don't want to always see the same winners. And uh, especially here, who knows, maybe the next Grand Slam champion you know, will win this title here and uh, a new star is born. Thank you very much, Babsi, You're for very having welcome, you here. Very welcome, Max. Very <laughs> Thank welcome. You. It was Barbara Shet, our star. <laughs>